This tip is going to make tuning vocals in Ableton Live way easier, I promise. You may already know Ableton doesn't have its own native tuning editor, so we rely on third-party plugins such as Melodyne. If you're using Melodyne to tune your vocals in Ableton Live, you need to stop doing it the slow way. Most people waste their time transferring vocals into Melodyne in real time. But there's a faster way of doing things and it's built directly into Ableton Live. It literally will save you hours on every project. There is a slight catch, but more on that later. So let's jump into it and find out how we set this all up. So once you're in Ableton Live, you're gonna wanna go to your settings and you can do this by pressing Command, comma or Control, comma on Windows. We're then gonna go down to File and Folder and we're going to go to Sample Editor. Click on Browse, go to your Applications and scroll down to find Melodyne. Obviously you will need to have downloaded Melodyne or a similar tuning application. Click on Melodyne, press open. That has now been set as your default editor. So let's go into live, to access the editor. What we're gonna need to do first is we're gonna need to consolidate our audio into one file. That'll make it a lot easier to edit once it's in Melodyne. Before you consolidate, it's worth just clicking on your track here and pressing Command D and duplicating this. So you've got a copy of the original vocal tape. It's good to keep a backup because once you've used the Melodyne and you've tuned it, it's printed to the original vocal stem. So it's very hard to undo it once you've done it. So we've got a backup there. And we hold down Shift, click on the regions we wish to consolidate, and then press Command J or Control J on Windows. That has now consolidated it and made it a new file ready for us to tune. Now, because we consolidated it, it has turned on the warp. So we just go down here and turn the warp off. We then go down to this little magic edit button down here. Press this and watch what happens. Boom, it opens up Melodyne. I'm gonna turn that off. I don't want this to open up every time. There we go. We've got a vocal in there straight away. No annoying transfer times. Now, when you edit all your tunings and you're happy with it, you simply go up to File, Replace Audio. Replace the audio, minimize this window. We click on it, it has now replaced your new tuned vocal ready to go. Wow, that's gonna save you so much time. You just skipped the slowest, most time consuming, annoying part of tuning vocals in Ableton Live. But there is a but, there is a slight problem. The problem is it commits it to the original sample. So if you close this file down, open it up at a later date, want to change the tuning, it's not going to happen. That's why I got you to duplicate the original file here. So you have a backup. Also, when you consolidate it, like I said, it creates a new file and you will affect that one. Also, you don't get to hear the tuning in context of the music. So you're editing the tuning in a separate program and you can't hear it along with the music. What I mean by that is if I press space bar in Melodyne, Take it slow. I'm not going to get the music in the background. And likewise, if I go into Ableton, I'm not going to hear the tuning tuning adjustments unless I press this replace audio, which if you're having to do that every time you make a minute change, that could get a little bit tedious. So what's the answer? Pro Tools and Melodyne have this amazing ARA integration, which stands for Access Random Audio. Basically means you can open up third party plugins and have them integrated within a DAW such as Pro Tools. Now it's a feature that people have been praying to the able and gods to sort out. We would get rid of all these transfer speeds. We would get this kind of option here, but be able to keep it in context with the music. If you're mixing vocals in Ableton Live and using Melodyne, this is one of those small workflow hacks that will probably save you hours and hours and hours. If you want your vocal mixes to sound a lot more professional, why not check out this video here where I do a deep dive on my perfect Ableton Live vocal chain that only uses Ableton Live stock plugins. And you even get a free download. So I'll see you there. Bye for now.